Hello, David. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad to know that. How was your day? Um, so so. <laughs> okay. I I work today. Okay. So it was a long day. Yes. I was. Uh, was a long day. Okay, I understand. Very good. So you are very tired. Como? You are tired today? Tired. Tired? Yes, yes. Okay. Nice. All right. Let's begin then with our class. Let me share my screen and we can. Okay, David. Um, do you like golf? Golf? Um, no. <laughs> no I like do. Any sport that you like? What? Any sport you like? I like uh, soccer. Okay. Only soccer? Mm, yes. Yes. Soccer. Okay. Welcome, Letty. Hi, everyone. Hi. Letty, do you like golf? No, I don't like it. Do you like any sports? I like um, basketball. Mm, I like um, with soccer, football, soccer. Okay, soccer or football? Soccer. Soccer, okay, nice. All right, mm -hmm. what about painting? Do you like painting, David? Paint, uh, I don't like. You don't paint? No. No, okay. Letty, what about you? I don't like. You don't like it? Okay. Not bad. My sister is is good for painting. Ah, oh, really? Yes. And drawing. Mm -hmm. That's great. So she is an artist. Okay, what about Carrots. Do you like carrots, David? Yes, I like. Okay. How do you like them? How do you eat them? Um, I like carrots in 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 rice, for example. Okay, good example. Letty, what about you? Do you like carrots? Yes, I like carrots. In the How soup. How do you eat them? I'm sorry? In the soup. Oh, in the soup. They are delicious. Uh, and the salad. Mm, that's true. They use it in salads too. Very good. Okay, next one. What about flowers? Do you like flowers, David? Yes, I like. Do you have flowers in your house? Uh, no, actually not. No, okay. What about you, Letty? Do you like them? Yes, I like flowers. Do you have? Mm, yes, I have. 
Nice. Very good. What kind of flowers? Mm, it's, a... it's not a flower. It's a, a plant. Ah, okay. Plants. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about books? Do you like reading, David? Um... Yes, I like. Okay. Do you have any favorite book? Um, my favorite book is uh, Cuentos de Barro. Mm, okay, that's interesting. From El Salvador. <laughs> From El Salvador, that's nice. What about you, Leti? Do you like books? I like read. I like okay. read. I Which love? one is your favorite? I like uh, in this moment uh, for the time. I like read uh, the Bible. Okay. Mm -hmm. I study for five years the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I like it. I like it. Okay. That's so wonderful. much. <laughs> so much. <laughs> no, and that's very good. Mm -hmm. like One it. of the best books that you can read. And the Bible. Yes, it's the best book that uh, you can do. Um, the letters, uh, universal letters, is in the New Testament. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, yes. thank you, Leti. Maria Jose, what about you? Do you like books? Mm, yes, I like Do you have a favorite book? One the saga the, uh, of Harry Potter. Mm, nice. Which one? I love Harry Potter. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, the three. Okay. The Prisoner of Azkaban. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. That's a good one. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. The last one. What about the piano? Do you play the piano, David? No, I don't play. Okay, but do you like it to listen to the piano? Listen, yes. Yes. Okay, great. What about you, Leti? I don't play piano. Um, but do you like it? Yes, I like. I like it. Listen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Very nice. And you, Maria Jose? Um, I like, but I know. Um, no puedo. <laughs> oh, you can play? Okay, nice, interesting. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So in this part, we will practice about yes, no question. Okay, can you help me reading the first question, please, David? Are you happy? Okay, and how do you answer to that, Letty? Yes, I am. Okay, excellent. But what could be another answer that the person can give you? Can you read the other answer, David? I am um, two. Ah, okay. Let's check the structures that we have here, okay? Let's begin on number one. What is the verb in number one, Maria Jose? The question. What? What is the verb? The verb. Uh, okay. Um. Verb. Excellent. What is the subject, Letty? You. Okay. And what is the complement? Happy. Perfect. 
Okay, now in the answer, what is the verb that I use in the answer, David? Uh, the verb is am. Um... Okay, so this is my verb, very good. <coughs> Sorry. So look at this. What is the form of this verb? What is the name of the verb? To be? Excellent. So in both of them, I am using the verb to be. Excellent. So this is the question and this is the answer. Good. But here I have something extra. This is not the answer. This is something extra, okay? So I say, are you happy? Yes, I am. I am too, okay? So they are connected to the same answer. This is something positive, okay? I am sharing the same idea here. You say yes. So I am. Let's focus on this. So this expression is affirmative or a negative? Let me. I am. Affirmative. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. So it means that both of the answers are affirmative. Very good. Okay, excellent. Now look at this. This is the person one, person two, and this is the person one again, okay? So after the answer, the person one gives another answer, okay? So we have two answers now, not only one. Let's check another example. Okay, can you help me with the question, Maria Jose? Please, the question. Okay, are you happy? Okay, what is the answer, David? Yes, I am. Okay. So what do you say next, Maria Jose? So I'm like. Okay, excellent. So this answer is connected to the second answer. Okay. Let's check the structure again. What is the verb in the question, David? Are. Excellent. What is the subject, Letty? You. And the complement, Maria Jose? Happy. Okay. So we know that this is a question. Okay, very good. <coughs> Now, the question is with are you? So the answer should be with I am, okay? Are you? I am. So that is the answer. Now, ¿Qué significa la, la esa, la del so am I? You are connecting the information. You agree with the person. The person says yes, so you agree with the person, with the answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the normal part, okay? This is what I want you to focus on. This one is the normal, <coughs> sorry, question and answer. Are you happy? Yes, I am. Normal question, normal answer. But this is something extra that the person says to agree, okay? To agree with the information. So you say yes, then I say, 
so am I. All right. So we have two different forms. You look at this, and I want you to focus on this. You can use the same structure, I am, but you need to say two. Okay? I am two. But in the other one, it's not the same. In the other one, you can use I am here, but here, look at that. You need so, and then you pass the verb to the beginning. Am I? No, I am. Am I? So we change. Okay? So you can say, yes, I am. So am I. No, I am. So am I. Okay? So again, you have two forms. I am two, so am I. Two different forms, and they mean the same. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's continue. Let's see another example. With examples, you are going to get, get it more. Okay, can you read the question, Letty? Do you like cookies? What is the answer to that question, David? Yes, I do. Okay, so what can you say after that, Letty? I do too. Okay, excellent. So look at this. What is do? Maria Jose, what is do? Verb. Do is a verb? <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Sorry? It's a compliment. Is auxiliary. El, el auxiliary. Auxiliary. Ah, auxiliary. Okay. This Sorry. is an auxiliary, not a complement, not a verb. The auxiliary. Okay, very good. And I use the auxiliary because this is simple present. What is the verb in this question? Like. Like. Okay, so if this is the verb, I need an auxiliary for the question. This is not the verb to be, okay? Remember that in the verb to be, we use the verb to be to make the questions. But in this one, no, we need the auxiliary, okay? Now, we have the auxiliary. So the same auxiliary is the one that you use for the question. Do you? Yes, I do. Do, okay, the same auxiliary. And look at the other answer. The same auxiliary. We don't change it. The same auxiliary. Do you? Yes, I do. I do too. Okay, so we use the same auxiliary for the answer. Okay? Okay. Okay. Teacher, um, what is the meaning in Spanish, eh, la, la última parte, o sea, el significado en, eh, en español de la última parte, no, 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 me ter no termino de comprenderlo. Ok, don't worry. A mí también. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Es como, ajá, uh, ya. Yeah. Yes, you. because the person is saying yes. So yes, I do. I do too. Affirmative. Okay. Okay. It's the same with the other ones. The question was, are you happy? Yes, I am. So am I. I agree with you. Okay, it's exactly the same. 
But the difference is that you need to use the same verb, the same auxiliary that you use, okay? Look at this again. Verb be, verb be, verb be. So you use the same verb if you are using the verb to be. If you are using auxiliaries, the same auxiliary, okay? But the answer is the same. In todas, yo siempre estoy diciendo, yo también. En todas. La diferencia es que en algunas, que son verb to be, tengo que utilizar el verb to be en las respuestas. Y las que son con auxiliar, tengo que utilizar el auxiliar. Pero la respuesta es la misma. Are you happy? Yes, I am. Yo también. So am I. Do you like cookies? Yes, I do. I do too. Yo también. So it's exactly the same. But the difference is this. You use the same verb or you use the same auxiliary. Okay? Is that clear? That's clear. Okay, excellent. Let's see another example because look at this. We have two different options and I want you to look at that. I have the option with two and I have the option with so. Okay, here I have the option with two. Let's check the option with so. Maria Jose, can you read the question for number one? Do you like cookies? David? Yes, I do. Maria Jose again? So do I. All right. So focus on this. When you are using so, this is at the number one. And then look at this. We change the order. It's like an X effect. Okay, we change the order. Yes, I do. So do I. No, I do. So I do. No. So do I. We change the information like an X. Okay. So you can use so. Or you can use to. It's exactly the same. Both are the same answer. Let's check another example. Leti, can you read the question, please? Were you at the museum? Maria Jose? Yes, I was. Leti? I was too. Okay. And again, the same verb. Is the sentence in the present or in the past? Past. Past, right? So this is past. The information, the verb is in past. Past is verb to be. And verb to be. Excellent. This is the past of the verb to be. And look at this. I was. I was. And then I only add the two, okay? Let's continue with more. All right, David, you are the person one and Letty, you are the person two. Were you, were you at the museum? Yes, I was. So was I. Okay, good. So when we use the so, so is first, and then we make the X effect. Okay, we change it. And let's see another example so we can get it. Um, Leti, you are person one, and Maria Jose, you are person two. Can you cook salad, salad, lasagna? Yes, I can. I can too. All right. So in this case, I'm not using a verb. What is this? 
auxiliary. Uh, yeah, okay. It's an auxiliary or a model. Okay. This is a model. Okay, so as you can see, I am using the same model in all of the answers because it's the same. Okay. And again, I can, I can. And then you just add the two. Let's see the other option. Now in this one, Maria Jose, you are the person one and David, you are the person two. Can you cut lasagna? Yes, I can. So can I? All right, perfect. Is the idea clear for this? Yes. Yo okay. tengo una pregunta. Ajá. En, eh, so, nunca he llegado a entender el, porque lo he escuchado en distintas conversaciones, pero nunca entiendo bueno, el que he entendido entonces. El so. Pero mm, en este caso no, no quiere decir entonces. ¿Verdad? No. No, in this case, no. So, yes, when you use the expression so, it has different meanings depending on the context. Dependiendo del contexto puede tener muchos significados. En este contexto no tiene ningún significado. Solo me está diciendo yo también. En ambas respuestas, I can too and so can I, ambas me dicen yo también. Recuerden que cuando hablamos en inglés no traducimos palabra por palabra, sino que ent eh, entendemos el significado que estamos teniendo en la frase. Por eso no es bueno traducir, sino que tratar de entender el significado de la frase en general. Y es lo mismo, como lo que les mencionaba antes. Realmente aquí estamos utilizando pasado, estoy utilizando presente, estoy utilizando models en este caso. Y en todas las respuestas, la última que tenemos acá, todas son yo también. La diferencia que es que tenemos que usar el mismo modal o el mismo verbo to be o el mismo auxiliary con el que se hace la pregunta para que todo tenga una conexión. Por ejemplo, si ustedes me preguntan, ¿Can you cook lasaña? Y yo le digo, yes, I do. No tiene sentido porque no hay una conexión. La pregunta fue con quién. Yo tengo que responder con quién. Lo mismo acá. Si usted me dice, were you at the museum? Yes, I am. I am? No. No tiene sentido porque yo estoy haciendo una pregunta en pasado. No puedo responder en presente. Entonces, acá lo único que quiero mostrarles es la conexión que hay entre las respuestas. Pero la última parte en todas las conversaciones que hemos visto significa exactamente lo mismo. Yo también. O a mí también. Por ejemplo, en la pregunta, do you like cookies? Yes, I do. So do I. A mí también. All right. So is it clear the idea for this expression? Yes, it's clear. Yes, okay. Let's practice a little bit because here, the more we practice, the better we get. So let me see. <coughs> Okay, let's create some examples, okay? Let me, give me a yes, no question. Any tense? Uh, are you study? Mm, again? Ah, tiene que ser sí o no, verdad? Ah, sí, verdad? Are you study? Are you a study? Is that a question? Are you sure? No. Can I say this? Are you a study? Are you study in, in your house? But look at this. This is the verb to be. This uh -huh. is the verb study. Two verbs uh, cannot be together. Okay. 
Are you, ah. Uh -huh. You use the verb to be or other verbs, but not both. Uh, are you in, in his house? Okay. Excellent. How do I answer, David? This is the question. What is the answer? Yes, I am. Okay. So what can you say after that? Let me. Uh, I am too. Okay. And if I don't want to say I am too, Maria Jose, what is the other option? So, and I. Excellent. All right, very good. So we have two different options. I will change the color so we don't get confused. Okay. Nice. Can you give me a question example, Maria Jose? Um, do you like coffee? All right, I like it. What is the answer, Betty? Yes, I do. Okay. So what do you say after that? Maria Jose? So do I. Excellent. And if I don't want to say, so do I, David, what do I say? I do too. Excellent. Okay, David, can you give me another question? Can you play piano? Nice. Remember that with the instruments, we always say da, the piano, the guitar. Okay, thank you. All right, so how can I answer this, Maria Jose? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. What do you say after that, David? I can too. Nice. And if I don't want to say this, let me. So can I. Excellent. All right, you got it. Okay, let's go back then so we can continue with more. So again, these answers are affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Negative. Negative? <clears throat> Why? <throat> okay, affirmative. Why do you say negative, David? Uh, no, I don't know. Oh. No, these answers, the ones that we have here, are they affirmative or negative? Ah, affirmative. Uh -huh. They are affirmative. All of the options are affirmative. Very good. Yes. But what happens if the answer is negative? I cannot say, so do I, or I do too. Nope, because it's negative. So for the negatives, we use something else. Okay. Can you help me with the question, Letty? Are you happy? And the answer, Maria Jose? No, I am not. And again, Letty? I'm not either. Ah, okay, so look at this. Is this affirmative or negative? Negative. Negative, okay. 
So this is affirmative or negative? Negative. negative. Okay. So as you can see, I am not. I am not. But here I am using this expression. <clears throat> I cannot say I am not to. Mm -mm. Not possible. You say either. Or you can say either. Because some people pronounce it like that. It, that depends on how you want to say it. Algunas personas lo pronuncian como either. Okay? Y otras personas lo pronuncian como either. Pero es la misma palabra. So it's up to you how you pronounce it. Okay? So again, I'm not. I'm not. Either. Okay? Now let's see a different example. Can you read the question, David? Are you happy? The answer, Letty? No, I'm not. So what do you say after that, David? Neither uh, am, am I. Excellent. So again, is the answer affirmative or negative? Negative. Okay. So this is affirmative or negative? Negative. Negative. But look, I am not using either. Mm -mm. Now I am using neither. This is a negative expression already. Neither. And look at this. We have the change again. Am. I. Neither am I. So we make like a X effect again. Neither am I. Neither I am. Mm -mm. Neither am I. Okay. Let's check another example. It's the same questions. I am using the same questions so you get the idea. Let me see. Um, Letty, can you read the question, please? Do you, do you like cookies? David? No, I don't. I don't either. Excellent. So again, I don't, I don't. And we only use either. Let's check the other example. Maria Jose, you got the question. Yeah. Do you like cookies? David? No, I don't. Neither do I. You got it. Let's check another example. David, you got the question. Where are you at the museum? Eh, Maria Jose? No, I wasn't. I wasn't either. Mm -hmm. Let's check the other example. Letty, you got the question and David the answer. <laughs> Were you at the museum? No, I wasn't. Neither was I. Who? And the last question. Eh, Maria Jose, you got the question and let me answer. Can you cook lasagna? No, I can't. I can either. Now, Letty, you got the question and David the answer. Can you cook lasagna? No, I can't. Neither can I. All right, excellent. So when I am using neither or either are for affirmative or negative? Negative. Negative. Negative, excellent. And, él está uh, diciendo, teacher, ahí le está diciendo que no puede, no puede cocinar lasaña y, y la, la persona que le pregunta le está diciendo que también ella no puede. Mm -hmm. But we don't say yo también no puedo. We say Ajá, yo tampoco. Sí, yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. Uh -huh. So, can you cook lasaña? No, I can't. I can't either. Tampoco. Yo tampoco. Okay. The same here. Were you at the museum? No, I wasn't. Neither was I. Yo tampoco. All right, so when you use this again, you agree with the answer, with the question that the person is doing. Estamos aceptando la misma pregunta, o sea, 
estamos eh, agreeing, están, estamos de acuerdo con lo que la persona nos ha preguntado. O sea, la persona dijo que no, entonces yo digo que no también. Ok, solo estamos de acuerdo con la misma respuesta que la persona dio. Ahora, si nuestra respuesta es diferente, no podemos utilizar eso. Por ejemplo, si ustedes me dicen, were you at the museum? Y su respuesta es, no I wasn't, pero yo sí estuve en el museo, no puedo utilizar neither was I, porque es algo diferente, es una respuesta diferente. Ahí le podría decir, ah, oh, well, I was. Ok, ya no puedo utilizar el neither, porque, again, el neither y el either solo me están diciendo que están de acuerdo con la respuesta que la persona me dio. Si la persona me dijo que no, yo voy a decir que no también. Entonces, ahí tengo el neither y el either. Pero si mi respuesta es diferente, no puedo utilizar neither and either. Porque significa que no estoy de acuerdo con la respuesta de la persona. ¿Ok? ¿Tiene sentido? Yes. Yes. Ok. Very good. <coughs> Now, something to keep in mind. These are yes, no questions. So you always need the yes, no answer. You cannot say, for example, were you at the museum? Neither was I. No. You need to have another answer first. Okay? Primero, siempre vamos a necesitar la yes, no answer. Siempre. Y después de esa respuesta es que utilizamos la otra. Esta nunca va a ir primero. Nunca pueden decir, por ejemplo, do you like cookies? I don't either. No, no se puede. So you say, do you like cookies? Espera la respuesta de la otra persona y luego repite esta información. ¿Ok? Pero nunca va a ser esta la respuesta. Esta no es la primera respuesta. ¿Ok? Just to keep it in mind. Now let's practice with the examples that we had before. Let's go back to the chart. <coughs> okay, so now this one, I want to provide negative answers. Okay, so what could be one negative, I'm sorry, <coughs> what could be the answer for this, eh, Maria Jose? Negative. Okay, and um, you can write on um, basically? Um, okay, but the answer to the question, the question is, are you in his house? Oh, oh, okay. Um, no. I am. No. No, I am. No, I am. What is missing? Remember that is negative. Uh. No, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> yes. Good. All right. So, what is the other answer that I have after this, Leti? I'm not either. Excellent. And the other possibility, David? Neither am I. Excellent. Okay, what about in the next one? I want to have also the same question. Do you like coffee? But this is negative. What is the answer, Letty? Negative answer? Mm 
no había encendido el micrófono. <laughs> I don't like. Okay, but the answer? Nejesa, I don't like. No, because this is not a WH question. This, I don't? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, remember, yes, no question, yes, no answer. Okay, so um, what do I say after that, Maria Jose? Neither. Neither. I don't. Hmm. Neither I don't. Uh, neither. Don't. Neither do. I. All right. And if no. I don't want to use this one, David, what is the other option? I don't either. Excellent. Okay, let's check the last one. <laughs> okay, so this is the question. David, can you play the piano? What is the answer? No, I can't. All right. Now, what could be another possible answer that I can provide, Letty? I I can't either. Mm -hmm. I cannot either. I can't. Neither. And the other possibility, Maria Jose? Neither can I. All right. Very good. Okay, so now that we have the options and that we practice. Let's ask some questions so you can keep practicing with the different answers. Okay, David, ask a yes or no question to let. What is the first? Are you are you in his house? No, no, no. You make a question. These are examples. You make a yes no question. Um can you read the book? Yes, I can. I can uh, negative. Is negative, teacher? Um, but see, she said yes. Oh, optional. She said yes. What okay. is your answer? I can too. I can too. Okay, good. Now let me ask a question. Yes, no question to Maria Jose. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Uh, I can. I can. <laughs> so uh, do I. Excellent. Very good. Now, Maria Jose, you ask a yes no question to David. Okay. David, do you like? The beach. Can you repeat, please? Do you like the beach? The beach? Yes, I do. I do too. Excellent. Again, David asked a question to let. Letty, do you like TV series? Yes, I like. 
Yes, yes I do. And, uh -huh. Yes, I do. <laughs> so do I. Excellent. Betty, Maria Jose. Um, can you uh, can you play basketball? Yes, I can. So can I. Excellent. Maria Jose, ask a question to David. Can you drive me? Can you drive? Drive? Mm -hmm. Yes. No, I can. Yes or no? No, I can. Okay. I can either. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, I like it. Now we we'll start with the negative. Tratemos de practicar ahora con las negativas, ¿ok? Son las siguientes preguntas, independientemente de la pregunta que sea, respondamos de forma negativa, ¿ok? David, ask a question to Letty again. Letty, uh, uh, do you... What is the question? Letty, uh, can you play the guitar? No, I can't. Neither, neither, neither can I. Excellent. Letty, ask a question to Maria Jose. Are you... In no, are you at the park? No, I'm not. I am not. I'm not either. Excellent. Okay, now Maria Jose asks a question to David. Did you like travel? Can you repeat, repeat please? Did you like travel? Travel. No, I, no, I don't. Neither do I. Excellent. Very good. So, is it clear the idea for the answers? Yes, it's clear. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Very nice. So, um, well, actually, I think we're going to stop here. Thank you very much for coming. I will send you the examples uh, to the class, the WhatsApp group, and then you continue practicing, okay, with the information that we have there. Have a beautiful weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. See you Bye, later. Bye, teacher. See you.